What's up, my name is Technumber here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Spleef. Spleef, everyone knows it and everyone loves it. This plugin lets you set up and play in simple arenas. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section on your Server Pro dashboard. Then search for Spleef, install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. While the plugin doesn't require anything to work, it is compatible with Vault for economy rewards, DB API for a statistics database, holographic displays for holograms in game, and placeholder API. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. When in game, we can use slash spleef or slash spleef help to get a list of commands from the plugin. First, let's create an arena. An arena is one or more layers of snow blocks above a body of water. When players land in the water, they'll be removed from the game. Last one standing wins. Simply just build one to get started. World Edit is a really good plugin to make life easier here. Don't worry, when the game is finished, the arena will be taken back to the starting state. Once you have an arena created and a starting or lobby area, simply use slash spleef create followed by a name for the arena. I'll be using test. Optionally, you can also add a space followed by spleg or bow to set one of these game modes instead of vanilla spleef. I'll use spleg. Now that we've created an arena, let's simply set a spawn or end location. I'll use this platform over here, simply typing in slash spleef set spawn followed by the name of an arena, simply test. Now we'll set a start location when the game begins. Simply fly over onto the snow and type slash spleef set arena followed by the name of the arena, test. And finally, the optional lobby can be set now if you'd like people to wait in a specific location when they join before the game begins. I'll simply just use this end location platform where players will be in. Slash spleef set lobby followed by the name of the arena, test. Now that we've set everything up, let's go ahead and set a minimum and maximum number of players that can join the arena before the game begins. Slash spleef set min followed by the arena name and a minimum number of players. I'll use one. Slash spleef set max followed by the name of the arena and a maximum number of players. I'll use 10. And then all we have to do is simply use the same command that we used to reload the plugin from the config file. Slash spleef reload to refresh settings and actually be able to play the game. After you've reloaded it, we can simply check for a list of arenas by typing in slash spleef list. Then you'll see a list of all of the functional arenas. If you don't see yours here, simply type slash spleef reload in the service console and look at the output to see why your arena isn't working. Players can now simply use slash spleef join followed by the name of an arena to join an arena. So test. Players can also use slash spleef leave or use the barrier block in their inventory to leave the game. Players can also use slash spleef join queue to be added to the most full spleef game on the server. Optionally, if you have the DB API plugin installed, players can use slash spleef stats followed by a player name to see their spleef statistics. I'll simply join the arena on my main account and an alternate account. After everyone's joined the game, it'll start within a certain amount of time. This can be defined later, which we'll get to momentarily. On the right-hand side, you see the score screen, as well as the arena's name and a countdown to the game actually starting. Let's wait for it to start. After the game starts, you'll be teleported to the arena, and of course you'll be playing as usual. If a player stands on a block for too long, they'll eventually be hit by lightning and sent down into the water. As you can see, I successfully won the game, and it says so in chat. So let's get on to some final commands. We can use slash spleef delete followed by an arena's name to delete the arena. We can also use slash spleef close or open followed by an arena's name to toggle whether players are allowed to join the arena. We can use slash spleef set timer start or block standing followed by a number to change how long until a game starts. I'll set it to say 15. If you chose block standing, it'll set the time for how long a player will have to stand still before it gets struck by lightning and removed. Slash spleef enable followed by broadcast win holographic ranking, lightnings, standing limit, TP to last lock, snowballs, and instant give shovel all toggle whether these are on or off for every spleef game. Slash spleef force start followed by an arena's name or force stop followed by an arena's name forces the game to start or stop. Slash spleef force join followed by an arena and a player's name will force someone to join an arena, even if it's closed. Slash spleef set reward, win or lose, followed by a number, will set how much currency a player will receive when they win or lose. This of course requires vault. Slash spleef clear stats, simply clears the statistics database completely. This of course relies on the DB API plugin. 
Slash Spleef Set Hologram allows you to set the holographic ranking location, which requires both DB API and holographic displays. Slash Spleef Set Game Mode followed by an arena's name lets you change it between Spleef, Spleg, or Bow. Slash Spleef Check Update asks the plugin to check for an update. If one is found, it'll be returned in chat. Slash Spleef Disable Commands followed by Add or Remove and then a command's name will toggle certain commands. If we follow it with Clear or List instead, it shows a list of all commands that were blocked or simply allows you to clear the list completely. Head over to your Server Pro dashboard. Locate the config in your plugins folder. Inside of here, we have two files, messages.yml, which is used for localization of the plugin, which you can edit to change how the plugin talks to players in chat, and config.yml, which is where all the settings for the plugin are stored. Because almost everything is command-based, this file is very simple. We have a few toggles, which we can edit all in-game, set the times for start or block standing, set a reward, and finally, we have a list of spleef, spleg, and bow arenas. That is the spleef section. This holds the location of the spawn, arena, and lobby, as well as a minimum and maximum number of players. Of course, if you have holograms and the rest set up, they'll be listed below as such. Luckily for this plugin, most players will never have to access the config files as everything is set up in game. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.